Hey everyone, welcome to this lesson. From this lesson, we are going to start making baby steps toward creating a chatbot. So in order to create a chatbot, what we need is we need to be able to read the message and also we should be able to apply some condition to the message which we have read and then we should be able to respond accordingly. So for example, when we see hi message in a group, we probably want to reply with hello. Okay, so you can see that we have multiple operations which is being uh, taken. So until now, whatever operations we have performed, it was more like a one way. So we we were either reading the message or we were either sending a message, we were sending an audio file or we were sending image file or we were sending documentation and so on. But until now we have not made use of multiple functions in the or multiple features in the same program. So here we need to be able to understand that how to read the message and also how to see whether the message meets certain criteria. So for example, if I say hi, we need to compare the message which has been sent is equal to hi and then we should be or basically bot should be able to see say hello based on that message. So first thing what I have done here is I have sent some couple of more messages here in this group. So you can see I have sent hello from bot, I have sent hi and then I'm just going to go to the very beginning. So this is the first program which we have created where we were reading the messages and if I execute it you can see we are going to see new messages here. So now you can see we have hello from bot, we have hi and so on. Okay so all this uh, so we know this program we are going to use when we want to read all messages. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here in the new cell and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this sending messages code as well and I'm going to paste it in the end as well okay now it is the same cell where I'm uh, where I have pasted this code for reading message and then this code for sending message so if you see there are some common things which we can eliminate so for example if you see import request and time is not required then base URL also if you see uh, now if you see if base URL until here is always going to be same and then only the last word which is the endpoint is going to be different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it and here also I'm going to get rid of get update and I'm going to remove it this as well so now our base URL is going to be this because we know that this is always going to be static this is not going to change and then I'm just going to create a function so we are going to now move everything into functions if you know about Python functions you are already familiar what is the advantages of Python functions so basically function you can create once and then you can use it multiple times so that's the reason we should be moving our modular code into function so in order to create a function we need to say def and we need to say what is the name of the function which we want to create so for example this function is actually to read messages so I'm gonna call it read message and then we need to move all this code inside this function okay so that's all everything looks okay pretty much okay here and also what we are going to do is so I'm gonna change this send message code and I'm going to make it part of a new function which is going to be called send message and inside this again we need to move this code little bit and and I'm going to remove all these jokes. We don't want to, we no longer want to send any joke. Okay, so now what we have is we have two uh, functions. We have a function which is called read message and then we have another function which is called send message. So what read message is going to do is read message is going to continuously read the messages from this group and then if it finds that there, there is a word which is equal to hi, in that case it is going to call this message send message and it is going to reply accordingly. Okay, so what we are going to do is now uh, let's comment this for now and then we are going to see read messages and we are going to see how to read only messages from this group okay so as of now you have see, uh, seen that in the beginning when I executed this we got a complete JSON now out of this JSON I am not interested in complete JSON I just want to parse only the text which is being sent here in this group so if you see here in the JSON beautifier what we have here is in the JSON we have object a complete object and under object we have a message which is called ok is equal to true and then we have result under results then we have all the messages so here you can see all the messages which are here then inside this we have message and inside message we have text okay so from here we are going to get all the text which is actually being sent so if you know python again it is just python function or python dictionary handling which we need to know here in order to perform this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a for loop here so I'm gonna say for result in response and notice here until now response is actually not in JSON format so what I'm gonna do is let's first convert our response to JSON by writing response.json and now our data is going to be under data variable and under data what we are interested in we are interested in results so under data we are going to get results so we can write from data we want to get result and for each result we want to actually run this loop 
and inside the loop what we want to do is for now I'm just going to print result and inside result we are interested in message as you can see here inside result we have message which we are interested in and inside message we are interested in text okay which is equal to the value of the text which is which is being sent here in the group so i'm going to write message and then i'm going to going to write text and everything looks okay here now if i'm going to run this we should be able to see only the text message which is being sent here so for example now you can see this is a function so we have not we have defined everything inside the function but we are not calling this function so first of all i also need to make sure i'm calling this function so I'm going to write that code here so in order to call a function you just uh, call it like this so I'm going to execute it and this time hopefully it should be able to print the message now you can see it is giving us some error so let's see what is the error which we are getting here okay now notice one thing here in the API URL what I had done is I have removed that part okay slash uh, get updates part so what we need to do is here in the base URL we also need to write plus and we need to write get updates and also there should be slash so now we are going to rerun it and this time we should be able to see all the messages so now you can see we have all the message which was being sent so if i send a new message let's say i'm gonna call it new message and if i rerun this code we should be able to see this new message here so you can see we already able to see this new message so now what i'm gonna do is i'm rather than printing it here what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put an if condition here so i'm gonna say if hi in this message okay so if this message contains hi then it is going to call a different uh, function which is this function it is going to call send message okay so we are going to say if in message you have hi written in that case you should call send message and in that this case what send message is going to do is send message is going to reply with a hello so what we need to do here is again in the base url we need to append base url plus and we need to write slash send message so i'm just going to go on top just to make sure the api which we are calling is correct so it is slash send message so which means it is correct and now what we are saying is if you receive hi if you basically see hi here in the text in that case what you should do is you should send a message and that message should contain hello so i'm gonna say hello here and everything else looks completely okay so now the code is going to begin from here read message and then it is going to go inside this function read message function and then it is going to see whether all the messages which we have got uh, any of the message contains hi if it contains then it is going to call send message function so our code is going to execute from here and then it is going to send hello so let's execute it and see if it works as expected so here you can see in our message we already have hi one time so we should be able to receive hello one time so now here you can see we already got hello here so that's all in this lesson see you again in the next lesson